you think that Steven Tyler would be the guy that would get honest and real? Well, again, I don't, I'm surprised that, didn't you say that the boy is not like the most, that he's a little aesthetically challenged? He, he's scruffy and scruffy. But who's going to win? Like, will either of them win? You think? He will be in the top three, I believe. Yeah. So she's got to hold on. I mean, I'm glad that Steven came forward, and she better see the writing on the wall that he's probably going to climb, and maybe she can, you know, hold on. Hang on to the light. Because once he gets a taste, I think, once he gets a taste, it's going to be bye-bye. Okay. Uh, I know that you don't watch all of the shows. You've been an in-and-out fan of American Idol. Is there anything you like about this panel? Um... <laughs> Tell us who you love Janet Jackson. You would like Janet to be a part of this panel. No? Not particularly. I only said Janet because I said since we're hiring non-singers, <laughs> we might as well have gotten Janet. But Miss Jackson's not going to be happy about that. Well, she knows. I've told her. But, you know, I just feel like to be judging a big, huge, fabulous, amazing Fox-produced television show like American Idol, shouldn't you have, like, a real singer? J-Lo's not a singer. Like, everyone knows that. Alicia Keys is a singer. Yeah. So when you tell Janet Jackson that you don't think she's the best singer, what does she say back? I think she said, ah, well, everyone has their opinion. <laughs> High five on that. That's awesome. This is why we cut the gym. We like the we messiness. The truth. We like the truth. A little bit of a messiness. Yeah, well, I, I mean, mean, come on. I think a lot of people feel that way. I mean, J-Lo is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Great actress. I love to watch her in those romantic comedies and stuff. I just feel like hey, we're not seriously. No, I do like I, I like J-Lo in movies, but if we're going to be serious about this competition and you have people waiting in line for days to be heard, shouldn't you be judged by someone that has some sort of credibility? I'm not talking about the clothing line or your perfume line. What about Chelsea, who was had a couple hits in the 90s? Oh, I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> I'm about to be on Fox 29. Yeah, we, I need I'm about you. to do a play at the Miriam Theater called Loving Him is Killing Me. And Nene's in it, right? Yes, Nene and Angie Stone and it. Comes to Philly, May 19th through the 22nd. Awesome. And you're going to sing. I'm singing. I'm acting. My husband's in it acting. Well, he's an actor. Wow. So, yeah. Is he cute? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Just so you guys know, all morning long, mm -hmm. we've been reconnecting. Re I'm giving her my hair people. She's giving me her hair Aww. people. We're talking about your, her shoe outlet, my actually? shoe. Her inner black girl, my inner white woman. That's right. <laughs> it's um, Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> Ebony and I. I, I like the combo. I do too. Thank you. Thank, thank you, ladies. Awesome. Okay, bye bye. bye. You know, I'm channeling. I have an inner black uh, woman.